Welcome to Kingfield for this FA Trophy third round qualifying tie between Woking and St Albans City. Graham Baker makes a number of changes to this team which has gone the last four matches without scoring. Most notably bringing in striker Trevor Benjamin. Benjamin starts up front with Moses Adamola while in midfield Harry Arter will play on the right with Jamie Hann and Mark Ricketts in the middle. Giuseppe Sowell will start on the left side of midfield while at the back John Borman is absent through injury but Tom Hutchinson is back to take his place. St Albans City start with a relatively similar lineup to the one that defeated the Cards 10 days ago. Substitute Lamini Sagna scored the winner that day five minutes from time. And Jamie Han knocks this one forward as well can get the game underway. Benjamin up for the challenge and here he is again but St Albans get in and clear. Nicolau knocking this one long towards the St Albans area but James Fisher hooks it away and it's flicked on by Drew Roberts and Gary Cohen capitalises on a mistake here from Tom Hutchinson tries to go inside him, gets his shot in but Ross Warner does well to comfortably catch that Ricky Anand tries to clear but Solomon Shields intercepts and now the ball's with Drew Roberts out on this left hand side can he get a ball in? Yes he has and Shields arrives and he just puts that across Ross Warner's goal and wide Drew Roberts stands over this free kick and in it goes and there's James Fisher rising but he's put that just over the crossbar an excellent chance for the visitors low Sol stands over this free kick drifts it in looking for Hutchinson at the back post but it's headed away Arsenal with the volley oh it's deflected and he's in and Woking have their first goal for four games Harry Arter's volley took a big deflection but it's ended up in the back of the net past goalkeeper Michael Emery. Ball out to the edge of the box. Arta volleyed it in. And it took a big deflection off James Quilter, I think that is. And it's maybe go down as an own goal for him. Long kick forward by Ross Warner. But it's headed away and Sinclair wins it again for Woking. Adimola fights for it. Here's Benjamin. Tries to lift it in the path of Sol, who battles Quilter for it. And Quilter slips, and Sol could be in here. And he plays it back, and Mark Ricketts arrives. And he's just diverted that wide, but that was a good chance for the cards. Bit of ping pong going around in midfield here, and it falls to Arter. Harry Arter looks for Benjamin, who chests it down, and Nicolau takes aim from long range. And that's well held by Emery. Warner with the goal kick, high and long and Benjamin tries to win the flick on and he has and here's Adimola's in and he's put it over the goalkeeper and Adimola's added a second for Woking. Jumps into the arms of Trevor Benjamin who got such an important flick on there and Adimola got in behind the defence and just beautifully lobbed it over Michael Emery who was in no man's land. Excellent left-footed effort from Adimola. Lobbed the goalkeeper superbly. Woking 2-0 up now just before half-time. Ricketts knocks the ball back to Sinclair who launches this forward looking for Harry Arter who takes the ball down beautifully and produces a lovely little back heel into the path of Anan. Um, who gets around the slide tackle and goes past Poku in the area sets up Jamie Hand with a shot, good save and then on the rebound and Woking have a third and then cut in from the byline and then set up Jamie Hand whose left footed effort was well saved but Anan pounced on the rebound and blasted it past Emery to give Woking a third. Second half only just underway and Woking a 3-0 up now. Sol with this corner, in it goes. Emery gets there but it's a, not a very convincing punch and Woking still have this now. Here's Arta who tries to put it in but it's stabbed away. Godfrey Poku will put this into the area and he's still in there and it might fall for Justin Clayton who takes a Wild swing at it, puts it well over the bar. Warner with this goal kick. It's long and aimed at Benjamin, and here's Sol. 
on the wing, taking on his man here. Can he get a cross in? No, has to go backwards for Nicolau. Here's Nicolau with the ball in the area. Benjamin with the acrobatical effort, and that's just over the bar. Solomon Shields on the ball. Might try and find them, and he's saying there with that ball forward, but doesn't quite work, and he lines up a long shot, and that's well wide of the target. Anat into hand, who plays a long ball forward, looking for Adimola, and now it's Harriato with this long ball into the area, looking for Sol, who's found the back of the net with a header, but the referee has stopped play here. I'm not sure if that was offside. The linesman didn't seem to have his flag up. Arta with the ball in. Sol, maybe there's a push there. I'm not really sure what was wrong with that. Long goal kick downfield. Sinclair wins it and comes to Benjamin, who tries to flick it on, but it doesn't quite work. Ricketts does well, an excellent piece of control to pick up that ball. Here's Adimola on the right, trying to take on his man and does so and gets the ball in. And there's Benjamin with a header and Woking have a fourth. Trevor Benjamin, that might have taken a deflection actually um, off Ryan Freighter and that could possibly go down as another own goal. Excellent work from Adimola out wide to get the cross in and it was... Trevor Benjamin who rose highest in the area and that's definitely taken a big deflection off of Ryan Freighter. That might go down as an own goal rather than Benjamin's. 4-0 nonetheless. Sol into Jamie Hand who plays it into Ricky Annan who will get there ahead of his man. And Moses Alamola has a lot of space here and drills it in low and it's Harry Arter and Woking have five. Moses Animola with another brilliant little cross and this time Harry Arter was a recipient and made no mistake. Solomon Shields on the ball and Mitchell Bryant and tries to go around Jamie Hand but Arter does well and Ricketts gets in there and now Arter again who gives it to Sol. Sol striding forward playing the ball into Luke Medley good break this from the cards can Medley get the cross in he can there's Bryant oh and now it's Harry Arter with the rebound oh and Michael Emery dives on it and survives there that could easily have been six. Oh, and that's not a very convincing throw out and Mitchell Bryant tries to get in there and that's gone out for a throw in Medley with the ball in, Bryant there, and he couldn't quite divert it goalwards. Arta tried to follow up, and finally Michael Emery managed to fall on the ball. Jamie Hand on the ball, looks for Ricky now on this right-hand side, who will check the ball back to Mark Ricketts, and now Hand again, who gives it back to Ricketts. Ricketts knocks the ball forward to Harry Arta, who takes a touch and then swings the ball into Mitchell Bryant. Bryant puts the cross in, Medley, oh so! And Woking have six for the team that couldn't score in any of the last four matches. This is phenomenal stuff. Mitchell Bryant's cross was deflected off Peter Smith. It fell to Medley, his effort was saved, but Sol on the rebound, tucked the ball into the empty net. 6-0. Ariata looks to be taking this free kick and he goes for goal and that's wasn't too far over but never really threatened Michael Emery. Emery launches this goal kick long and the final whistle goes. Woking progressed to the next round of the FA Trophy quite comfortably with a 6-0 win.